Que rollo con el Majority Mayor Tickers. Welcome back to Vlogmas, day number 18. So as you guys can tell by the background, today we're going to be working on our Orange Essence clone. I don't know if I told you guys, but this truck was behind four years on tags. The tags have not been paid since like 2019, I believe. 19, 20, 21, 22. Yes, because it's almost going on to 23. Um, and also it had fake stickers. It had uh, the month that said December. And then also the year, it had like uh, 2022, but everything was fake. I don't know if you guys know, but here they're super strict in Cali. That is a felony. So if I would have got caught driving the truck like that, I would have gotten in super, super trouble by the cops, including maybe even some jail time. But you guys already know, at least we're some legit people, you know? So I got everything situated. It was kind of expensive. I paid about $750 um, since it was all backed up. And the real month, the real month of this, um, of this truck is April. So we got a brand new April sticker. So let's go ahead and put it on. There you go, un poco chueco, pero it's on. And then the year, 2022. Although basically, um, I only have like a little bit months left because for 2022, it's gonna expire in April again. So I got what? January, February, March, April. So I got another four months and then I'm gonna have to pay again, but it's all good. So let's go ahead and put on this brand new sticker. 2022. And hell yeah, there it is. Um, I know a lot of people like to cut these up. Like my dad, he always like cut them, cut them, cut them. But I think they look ugly. Um, well, and then people are like, well, the reason why they cut them is because people steal them like that. But I really don't care if they steal them. I'll go to DMV and get a new one. It's not a big deal. So with that being said, we got a new registration. The truck is running legit. We can't really get in trouble for it. Actually, we could get in trouble because it's too loud. You guys already know I'm telling you, California is super strict. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going to a corner exhaust from Tana, California. And we're going to be getting that muffler, that whole muffler situation um, situated as well. So let's start driving and then let's go and drop it off so they can fight the truck down a little bit. So this is what it sounds like being inside the truck. Super loud, right? I'll be showing you guys what it sounds like after as well, uh, once we get it fighted down from the inside as well. This truck, the Vianda Mal, it's sneaky. I'm going to see show you guys. I don't know what the problem is. Literally, uh, I thought it was that new hose. It looks like it's not that. Uh, we're going to see what we do right now. I'm letting it cool off. Look at this. All right, guys. So I was actually able to exit the freeway. They were honking me. They were honking at me and all this because they thought I was cutting. But I really just wanted to get off. I was able to get off on the next exit, and then I was able to pull in right now to a burger spot. And I'm out here having breakfast. What's this lettuce? I thought it was a pickle. But yeah, I'm actually just eating, waiting for the truck to cool off. I let it fire, I'm, I'm crossing my fingers. Hopefully, at least gets me to the shop. All right, guys, so I let the engine cool down for like about an hour. I was eating for about an hour. I turned it back on and it cooled down a lot. Also, um, I opened up the coolant. I was scared, to be honest, because I didn't know if it was going to explode or not. But it did it, which is a good thing. And I added some more coolant, so we should be good. The shop is not too far from here anyway, so we should still let's see what happens. Let's keep going. So far, so good. That temperature staying pretty good, so let's just hope it stays like that until we make it to the shop at least. This is my boy Los Alvarados just pulled up. They're in the team. Yeah, I ended up posting the location for some help, and a couple of supporters ended up pulling up. Look at my boy's truck. Set it to a little small 4.8 with the cam. Sounds nice. Oh yeah, that ass. Yeah, yeah. Let's see, let's see. He said he actually got an exhaust too at Coras. Oh yeah. Nice, nothing too crazy. S simple and clean. We are back on the road and the truck is cooled off, running perfect again. Shout out to the boys for help. Um, all we did was tighten up a couple of hoses because they were super, uh, they were super loose. But we're actually pulling up right now too to uh, Gora's exhaust, so we finally made it. Well, finally, after a couple of hours, we made it to the exhaust shop. I'm telling you guys, make sure you guys check them out. Gora exhaust in the city of Fontana, California. And this is actually his personal truck, badass SS. So we just drove it up the ramp and now they're raising it up. 
I'm gonna show you guys right now exactly what's wrong with it. So this is where it's broken from. I hear it. It's supposed to be connected, but it's not. A little supporter. Pulled up in his bike as well. To say what's up, he wanted to show us that he could do a wheelie. Damn. Sheesh. Another one, another one. Another one. Damn. Look at him. Like he's on stay out. So this was our old exhaust muffler. Well, technically not really because we never had it connected, but this is where it broke off from. We don't really know what caused it to break, but it's actually a old school Magna flow too. So check it out guys, it's finally all finished up. And this is the new one that we went with. A Magnaflow as well. The mask this one is bigger, so that's good. And as you guys saw, this is where it was broken from. So they went ahead and fixed it. Uh. Check it out guys, we just left the exhaust shop. So I'm gonna be showing you guys uh, what it sounds like now. It's super, super quiet. Well, not too quiet, not too loud. I think it's perfect. But real quick, I need some gas. You guys are wondering why the hell did you pull down the tailgate? It's because um, my gas pump is actually right here. Look, right there. I want you guys know how to do the pump. We don't need one, baby. So look, this is where my gas tank is. It's pretty cool. Something different. I wonder how, I wonder how people feel like seeing me pump gas right here. What the fuck is he doing? I probably think I'm trying to semi check on fire. I just don't know what kind of gallon exactly, uh, how many gallons it is. I don't know how much it holds. I haven't really paid attention. I can see right here how much it has, so that's, that's exactly what I know. That's exactly how I know when to stop. Look at that. You like my gas tank? Is it weird that it's in the back trunk? Yes, now we're supposed to be on the side of the car. It's a custom fuel cell right here. So far it's $20, $21, but we're still going at it. We'll keep you guys updated. It's almost there actually. Completely on E, but right now it took about 10 gallons, 42 bucks. Caddy gas prices are killing me, bro. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a couple of revs so you guys hear what it sounds like. You guys know what I just remembered, guys? I just remembered that I don't think I showed you guys what it sounded like before. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's still kind of loud, like I said, but that's because I revved it. But when I'm just like, I have it at just regular idle, it's not too loud. It's just like, it's kind of quiet. I don't even feel it rattling no more. So that's pretty good. All right, guys. So as I mentioned, we just left the exhaust shop and I actually decided to hit up one of my mechanics, uh, CNT Customs. He's not too far actually from the exhaust shop. It's about 15 miles. So I decided to hit him up and I just asked him, Hey bro, you know what? My truck's overheating. Is there a certain way where you can like take me in and take a look at my truck? Maybe install it one of those 40k coolers, but like I need it like ASAP and by ASAP I meant today. He told me, you know what, bro, you're already down the street, like yeah, bring it over. So we're actually on our way there to Grupa Valley right now um, to install that 40k cooler. So we'll pick up the camera once we get there. So I almost forgot one more thing as well. I also wanted to show you guys what it sound, what the truck sounds like from inside the cab now. Remember I showed you guys earlier when there was daylight what it sounded like. It was kind of loud and rowdy. Now this is what it sounds like. It's not too loud. I don't know if the camera does any justice, but it's not loud at all. I really like it. I'm pretty sure if I give it some gas, you will be able to hear it though. Let's see. Yeah, so that's what I like. I just want it to be loud when I give it gas. And when I'm just cruising, I want it to be quiet, just how it is right now. So I think we did a good choice going with, the, with that setup. 
Oh, I'm at Tiki, so it's the next morning, and I just got a call from the mechanic, and he tells me that it turns out that the truck already has a 40k cooler, and I felt like such an idiot because I'm over here telling him, yo, can you bring me in, um, install a 40k cooler on the truck, and then he tells me, bro, it already has one. The thing is, I wasn't really expecting it to have one, and I didn't, I haven't really judged the truck, I haven't really checked it out. As you guys saw you with the exhaust, it was broken, I didn't even know, but I think we figured out the problem. The truck already has the E fans, but the thing is, they're not hooked up, so it's not able to cool down the, the engine. So that's the problem, you know? So I guess it's pretty good because we found out it's the E-Fans. So we're going to be doing today, but you guys are going to be seeing it in the next vlog, getting the whole E-Fans uh, situation situated. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's vlog. Don't forget to smash that like button. Comment down your guys' opinions below. Do you guys think I bought junk? Yes or no? Um, but regardless, we're going to get it fixed, guys. We're going to get it fixed because it's such a badass truck. And we're not going to pay that much on tax just for us to get rid of that truck, you know? But if you need to the channel, become a jury ticket today by subscribing. I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Peace.